This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Project 2013 has some really fantastic templates to get you started with your project design. So let's go take a look at how you can find templates and what happens when they open. So into project, and I'm simply in the backstage. But if you're not in the backstage, if you're in a project, you would go to File, New, and you see now I'm where I want to be inside of the backstage. It takes me to new templates. Even a blank project is a new template. But all of these other templates out here will help you identify what you could possibly be creating inside of your project. So this is a very popular one. SOX compliance and technology, very, very popular. Actually, I just helped a company through this because they wanted to make sure that they passed their SOX compliant. So if I click on SOX compliant, it says, well, here's where this came from, Microsoft. And I generally trust things that are from Microsoft, but you're actually going to be downloading from the internet here. So two things to keep in mind. One is you need to have an internet connection in order for this to work. And two, make sure you know your company policies for downloading because this is not stored locally on your computer. You see the arrow here to the right? When you click the arrow to the right, it's actually going to take you through other choices. So maybe I wanted a software development plan, or maybe I wanted a new product launch, or maybe I wanted... So you can actually work your way through here as well. But let's go back. All right, I wanted the socks. And then you'll need to determine what the start date is of the project. So we're not going to start this project until... Let's get rid of that date. It always puts up today's date as based in your calendar. And by the way, you can click this drop down arrow or you can simply type. So I want to start on January 1st, 2015. That's my start date. And then you simply click create. Now what's going to happen is this project will open based on all of the defaults, everything stored in that template. So that template was set up to pop up with the project overview. This is the view, look over here to the left. This is the project overview. At the bottom, oops, excuse me. At the bottom, it tells me that my new tasks are auto scheduled. And then I can explore and identify what this particular screen is all about. This is just a screen that allows you to quickly and easily track your project, how much percentage complete, and over here, percentage complete. So obviously, major focus of this template is how far along are we in our project? But then you just go to the different views. So if you want to go to a specific view, you say, I want the Gantt chart view. Now I'm on the Gantt chart view. And this is the project that someone created. They got it started for you. And now what you do with their project is you tweak it and you make it your own. So you can see that the dates, they don't have the, they have the question mark for the duration, meaning they're not sure what the duration is going to be. And as you move into the specific tasks, let me collapse my ribbon here. As you move into the specific tasks, it gives you a list of tasks. Now, sometimes, truly, when I open these templates, they're, they're spot on. And I do minimal changing other than change the dates or change some durations or some little thing that I need to change. Sometimes, though, it's a lot of changes. So sometimes I have to go in and make significant changes to a template. But the benefit, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort. It's going to save you a lot of time thinking about what has to happen. Someone else has done that for you. That's one of the best parts of templates, in my opinion. Well, maybe you don't need SOX compliancy, though. Let me go ahead and close out of that. And no, I don't want to save my changes. Let's take a look at some others. So back to File, back to New. Now remember, when we were clicked on soft, excuse me, SOX compliance, and I clicked the arrow to go to the right, I went to Software Development, New Product Launch. So if you do click on one of these templates and you think, no, that's not quite right, or I don't want to download from that location, then click those arrows. But it's the same thing as looking here. Well, what if you can't find something in these defaults, the suggested defaults? Then you have up here some other suggested searches. There's a business category that you could choose the business category. And it's going to list for you on the right a lot of options, right? In business, there are over 1,000. In industry, over 1,000. In small business. But these are the suggested. These are probably the most popular. 
So you can scroll through here and you can find the business category that you want for your project. Maybe you have a commercial construction project going on or you're building a new house and you need a residential. Or hey, how about this one? Create a budget. They're all here for you and they'll help you out and get you started just like the SOX compliancy one. You'll have the defaults of however someone saved it. Well, what if you can't find something you want in business? How do you get back to that original screen that was giving me suggestions? Home. You just click on home and it takes you back. Well, maybe you're interested in marketing. So when you click on marketing, same thing. It's searching through thousands of templates, giving you suggestions on the marketing templates, suggestions over here. Maybe you're interested in sales. There are 54 sales templates. And so I click on sales and it says, oh, excuse me, you know what? This is 54 in my computer as well. So these are things that are searching for other office applications also, not necessarily all of the templates. And so it's popping out and finding it in my computer. Now remember, I'm using Windows 8, and so sometimes things might look just a little tiny bit different for me than they look for you. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do, so let's go searching, because I couldn't find with a click over here, so maybe I want to type in marketing here at the top and then click the search button, searching thousands of templates, and now it's showing me from online all the marketing templates, suggested marketing templates. Well, what if you can't find anything and you're tired of looking through their suggestions? Then type in your own. For instance, I'm working on a big training project, a huge project implementation, and I'm in charge of the training for this product. And so I need a training template because I just don't have time to build mine from scratch. Oh, hey, there's one. But this one pops up, startup business. So this one didn't quite work the way I had hoped, but I could spend some more time searching. You know how to search, so I'm not going to spend more time searching. Let's go back home, and I just want to open one more because I want to focus on something when this particular project opens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new business plan. And when I click on new business plan, again, we have to do the date. So I'll do 1-1-2015. I'll click on create. And see the bottom left-hand corner? New tasks are created in manually scheduled mode. It warns you, it tells you when it very first opens how tasks are going to be scheduled, and then it tells me at the bottom on the task bar, it remains on the task bar that new tasks are manually scheduled. And as you're working with your project, that's going to be extremely important that you know what the default is and you know how projects are being scheduled. So go explore. Go let Microsoft help you out with some of their suggested templates so that you cannot spend so much time thinking, you can spend your time developing and designing a template that someone else has already started for you. You can tweak it to be exactly what you want it to be. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.